All right, here we are. We've got the debt stored. We carried it properly now. Uh, you know, uh, T was better than one in this case. Um, but once we get them in here, there is an issue. And as you can see, Susan, I mean, that's really tense, isn't it? I mean, it's like I can, I can just feel it leaning over towards me. So when you have the Velcro wrap, this tense, look at that thing snap back. All right, so we've got this pole being totally distended over here. Instead of, you know, cutting this angle about 12 degrees. That's really bad. That's hard. You know, I would want to be leaning like that all the time. So, we're, you know, there's a discussion here in Lawrence about whether to take the tension off. Because what happens is, if you leave it uh, relaxed like that, then people forget to latch it. You know what they do? They just, they just go and say, we want to play pickleball. They grab it. It might just be one person carrying the net. So again, the worst of the two sins, you've got one person carrying it, so all these lower joints on the bars get distended, and then you've got this loose, and it falls apart as they're taking it out to the court. So you've got to remember to put the tension back on. And it's kind of like a decreasing return on investment. The more you get this tension, the more it's, it's really bending the whole structure. But there's a happy medium, and if you can just remember to strap up before you go out to foot, it's like, yeah, that should work. So that's my message, is like, try to be kind to these nets. Be kind to your partner, too, right? right? And this is the pickleball librarian, and we have two physicists here. Being in Lawrence, Kansas, we're near the University of Kansas. One taught there, and um, another one taught at the famous uh, Indian Nation Haskell's University. So they both have PhDs in physics and uh, they recommended that we loosen the nets. We had a fun day, didn't we? We sure did, and I'm gonna get you next time. She's gonna get me next time. <laughs>